Philadelphia School District students are getting hands-on experience when it comes to early childhood education. And in this week's Focusing on the Future, Wakisha Bailey goes inside of Ken Crest West Early Learning Center to find out who's really the teacher in this program. What is this? A motorcycle? All it takes is love and attention to keep these young and inquisitive minds occupied inside the Ken Crest West Early Learning Center. Sometimes I call her Khadija, <laughs> but yeah, that's that's one of my little my little babies. Parkway West High School senior Mikhail Grant has become a big brother to dozens of preschoolers and even some infants. When you meet their needs, they they are like the sweetest little thing. So who has the younger children? Teacher Yenda Hall or Miss Hall, as her students call her, is spearheading one of the few Philadelphia High School Early Childhood Career Technical Education programs. The first part of the day, students are in class. We go over some ECE questions, some of our test questions, some of our theory questions. And then we go over what they're going to do during the day, what they're doing in their classrooms. Once class is dismissed, it's time to get to work. We have male students. You don't see a lot of male students in the ECE field. Here we see our males working with the younger children. They're able to tell you what they're doing, what the children are experiencing. From breakfast duty to playing with Legos or getting some fresh air during playtime, students are learning fundamental skills if they decide to pursue a career with early childhood education. When we were in our classroom reading textbooks and stuff, you don't really get like the full gist. And when you get in the classroom and you really start to see it and you pick up what you're learning and all that, it really helps. Teachers have been able to mentor the high schoolers. Ultimately, Ken Crest director Josie Jones hopes these seniors will return one day and run their own classroom. We have seven sites, and the students who live out throughout the Philadelphia area that have had their training, which is 120 hours of training, and then they take what we call the CDA credential testing. And once they take the testing, they become highly qualified for a child care classroom. While these students are getting hands on experience, it doesn't compare to the life lessons they are learning from toddlers. I learned a lot of patience, a lot of patience. And just to have fun, like Eddie. Hi, Eddie. Well, Keisha Bailey, CBS News, Philadelphia. Wow, what a great program. Yes, I was going to say. And how cute are those little kids? We love it. Wakisha, great story there. There are so many outstanding young people in our region who also deserve special recognition. And you can go to CBSPhiladelphia.com if you'd like to tell us about someone special who deserves a shout out.